Hi everybody, my name is David. Thanks for joining me for this video. It's about addressing something that's pretty common about this subject, about borderline personality disorder, which I have to say is now called emotionally unstable personality disorder, something I, that I hear a lot. Um, I have, since I make videos about this, I have people with this disorder that chime in and, and other people without the disorder that, that uh, give me different feedback, definitely on both sides, good, positive and negative. I got a message the other day that I'm just going to read and I'm not directing all of this towards this person about this message. Like I said, it, this is common. It's a common question, a common uh, opinion. Uh, are borderlines misunderstood and are actually just nice, kind people? Now, I know that's my title, but that's a very low intelligent uh, statement or question. I think 99% of the world has been kind in their life. Who knows the percentage? Maybe everyone at some point in their life have been kind. Nice. I have been. All of you have been. So it's just a, it's just a, like I said, low intelligent statement. But I'll just read the message first. Then I'm going to address it. Um, hello, I grew up in a narcissistic family. Many children of narcissists are diagnosed with borderline. Borderline's basis is having an unstable view of oneself. Can you please stop spreading false and misleading information about the disorder? I'm a very kind person. I'm nothing that you're describing. You're going to make life harder for those struggling with this disorder. <clears throat> I'm being polite and reaching out to you first. My second action may be to file an official complaint with YouTube. Why not just talk about narcissism? I go to a borderline group every week. We are nice people that struggle. So I'll address this first and then I want to talk more about this. Um, and, and I want to use compassion. Okay. I, I don't like anybody. You know, I, don't, I hate feeling like I hurt somebody, that I'm excluding some group or something, attacking people. I'm not. I simply attack bad behaviors. That's it. So first, I'm sorry that you struggle. I'm sorry anyone struggles in life. Here's what matters. What is false and misleading? What am I saying is wrong? Why can't you say and, and the people that I do get this from, the negative be like saying that I need to stop talking about this disorder. It's because they say that I say wrong things. So they'll say either I don't do that or it's false information, but won't tell me what it is. So one, if you don't do that, that's great. I never say people with this disorder all do this. Matter of fact, I have to preface every single video about borderline and borderline only with not all borderlines do this. I think what I say, you know, I know for a fact you haven't watched all my videos or even all my videos about borderline. And I don't think you've even watched very, very many of them. I think maybe you came across one video and didn't like what I say. And I think it felt bad because I didn't say that you do that. Obviously, I don't know you. I don't say all borderlines do that. And I also say not all borderlines do this. So if you don't do that, great. If you do that, that's wrong, right? It's not okay. I think it just feels bad. I think you're saying, just stop talking about this disorder. You don't like it. When all you have to do is just stop watching them. You say you're kind. So what? So what? I don't understand what that means. You're kind. I'm talking about people that abuse others and you're saying I'm kind. I don't know you. That's great that you're kind. I am too. I'm being kind and nice right now. Um, but what you did was threaten me. Okay. That was a threat. And that's not kind and it's not nice. It's control. It's actually emotional coercion and abuse. Not kind, not nice. 
you say, you're quoting you, nothing you describe. You are nothing that I describe in my videos. Impossible. That's impossible. What about the nine diagnostic videos I made about each diagnostic trait? If you have borderline, you have to have at least five. At least five of those videos have to perfectly describe you. So that's not true. What about the video I made that says, let's talk about some qualities that people have with borderline personality disorder, where I talk about all the nice qualities that people have with this disorder, usually. Not all. What about that one? Does that describe you or not? Am I false about saying those nice things about borderlines? Or did you just not see that video? You're talking about something specific. Why didn't you say it? It's a pointless conversation if you don't say it, what it was. It's very general. It's very black and white. Like I said, I talk about bad behaviors. Okay? I'm helping people, so I'm told... So I try to, and so I'm told, I'm helping people that have been abused traumatically or are currently being abused traumatically. It just so happens that these people that come to me every day tell me that the people that abused them have borderline personality disorder. Diagnosed. I have to hear some of the most atrocious, disgusting things you could ever imagine. Matter of fact, worse than you can imagine done by people with borderline personality disorder. I also would like to know how will I make these people's lives harder? My videos get a few thousand views. There's millions of people diagnosed with this disorder every year. How am I making their lives harder? You're talking about the people that come across and watch my videos? Don't watch them. Isn't that simple? Don't watch them. You don't need to go on YouTube and, and Tell everyone to make different videos. You don't like these ones and what they're saying, it's wrong. Just don't watch them. Just watch videos where people are saying borderlines are only kind and nice people. They're out there. You can also make your own. The threat that you made towards me. Um, I'm just going to go over some stats real quick. Verywellmind.com and PubMed and four others I just happen to see all say that 73% of, of borderlines are aggressive and violent in the past year, recent studies. That 58% are, have had physical altercations in the last year. And in the last year, 25% have used a weapon. That's most. 73% is most. That's not kind and nice. They've been kind and nice sometimes, but then other times they're not, not at all. They're violent and abusive and attack people. Mentalhealthcenter.com says those with borderline personality disorders are more likely than the general population to be verbally, emotionally, and uh, psychologically and physically abusive. Most. Not kind and nice. Just sometimes they are, like all of us. Um, AI Overview says some studies have found that BPD is associated with a greater number of violent crimes and is one of the more common psychiatric diagnosis in murderers. It's the most common in murderers, not antisocial. That's, that's amazing. In one study, 49% of men incarcerated for murdering their female partner had BPD or characteristics of the disorder. There's many mothers in prison who have taken the lives of their children that were then diagnosed with borderline. Casey Anthony is a good one. She still lies about it, shows zero remorse, diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. Uh, Susan Smith is up for parole after 30 years, serving 30 years for murdering her children. She was then diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. Not any other personality disorder, just poorly, both of them. And there's many, many more. Rare cases, maybe, sure. Sure, but high conflict personality type is cluster B, personality disorders, the four. But the most common is borderline. Borderline is the highest, worst, most high conflict personality type in society.
but also sometimes nice and kind. So I just want to say you can keep going to your weekly group. That's good. And you can keep accusing people of false information if you don't like what they're saying. And you can keep threatening people. But you can also stop identifying as a victim, okay? And you can actually become a healthier person by going to dialectical behavioral therapy. That's what people with this disorder need. And a weekly group is not enough. It will not make anyone's borderline go into remission because of a weekly group of talking to other borderlines. But what I highly recommend is stop trying to make everyone else change for you and look at yourself and consider changing something within you. Is it false to say that borderlines can get better? I say that in my videos. Is that true? So there's something that's not false if you agree with that, I guess, because I guess whatever you agree with is true and whatever you don't agree with is false, but you won't tell me what you don't agree with. But if you can get better, if borderlines can get better, then just do it, just, just get better and stop identifying as borderlines. I help victims of emotional abuse. Isn't that you? Most people diagnosed with borderline personality disorder that give me feedback, most of them tell me my videos actually help them. Then people with borderlines telling me things like what you told me, that it's everything I'm saying is wrong and you're nothing like that. That's rare. Most people with borderline tell me that my videos help them. Now what? Because you said we, we all this and we all that and all my, all I'm saying is wrong. So now there's lots of borderlines probably out there that would agree with my information. They have a different opinion than you. So you can't speak for all people with this disorder because that's what you're doing. You're wrong. If you're talking about you, I don't know you. I agree. You don't, you don't abuse people. Great. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about just people with borderline. I'm talking about people with borderline and other disorders that abuse people. It just happens to be mostly borderline. It's important for people to understand this, that it is mostly people with borderline so that they know that their partners have this disorder for many different reasons. And it's important to them. Um, borderline personality disorder is not who you are. It's a disorder. And most of us might have one. What I, have I said that's false? I'd like to know down in the description box. Please don't keep e emailing me. Uh, my videos are simply forcing you to look at yourself is what it sounds like. And maybe this is just your reaction to what you see. Um, how many of you guys have been abused, mistreated and traumatized and exploited? Any of those? by someone with borderline personality disorder diagnosed or someone highly with those characteristics and traits. How many of you guys, would you mind and be nice and be polite? Okay, this isn't an attack on anybody. This is about true information, okay? And um, the person who gave me the message, you're more than welcome to complain to YouTube. Believe me, you won't be the first, you won't be the last, and it will never stop what I'm doing. Thank you, all of you. Uh, ask questions. I love your feedback, really. If you find this video beneficial, thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Love yourself first, everyone. Thanks. Bye-bye.